Revelation chapter 18 from verse 12. It might not make sense, but there's, there's, there's a business there's a, a, a business transaction that is going on in this earth. And that transaction, believers are buying. Believers are buying. Christians, I know you will not shout today. I want you to reflect and let's know where we're going. Churches are reducing. Ministries are closing down because there is trade fair going on. Satan is selling. He's selling goods and commodity. People are buying. Not knowing they are buying. Go back to the scripture and ask you to go. To. Now see what they are selling. Okay? He said the merchandise of gold, silver, precious stones, and of pearls, fine clothes, linen. When you come to church, all we are talking about is fashion. Who dressed more than who? Who is buying Adidas and who is buying Nike? That even some people will not come to church because they think they don't have clothes. Because until you wear a designer's clothes, you will not come back to church. You ask people, no, the shoe I wore last week, I'm still wearing it, people will know. You are merchandising. They are merchandising linen. You will only come to church when your tie is nice. They put pressure on pastors. Pastors these days, they steal from church. They steal from God. Why? Because they must wear Gucci shoe. They must wear designer shirt. If a pastor wears a t-shirt, he's no longer a man of God. What stops me from preaching with a short? What stops me from preaching with a slippers or with a techies that I'm wearing? What stops me? The merchandise of this world. They are dictating how we will dress. They are dictating how we will look. They are dictating that we must wear and show our boobs and show our breasts. They are negotiating with us. They are telling you if you cover to your knee, it's a problem. They are telling you if you cover to your leg, it's a problem. Then you get home and you take a cloth you want to wear. You are negotiating with the devil whether this is short enough, whether this is long enough, whether this is brass showing, whether this is waist showing. You are negotiating. Satan is selling. We are buying. Satan is selling. We are buying. Satan is selling. We are buying. That devil is a liar. There is a war going on in the body of Christ. There is a war going on in the kingdom. We are not like them. We must stand straight. We must live for holiness. We must live for righteousness. Somebody said, talk to me, black man. Preach, black man. We are trading. We are trading with the devil. We are buying and selling. We are buying the Babylonian system. People come to church naked. Naked in the body of naked. In the church. Why must you, if your dress is good enough, why is it when you see pastor, you pull it up, you pull it down? Why is it when you see pastor Sophie, you pull your dress down? When you see me, you take a shawl and cover. But when I'm not there, your breast is playing piano. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, we are selling, we are selling, we are selling. There is a trade fair going on in the kingdom. There is a trading. Am I talking to somebody? He says, put down their God. Don't serve their God. Let them call you what they want to call you. Let them mention what they want to mention. That devil is a liar. Satan wants us down. Satan wants to destroy the church. He's bringing the Babylonian system into the church. We are going to kick out the devil in the church. If we have two people, we keep two people. We kick out devil and his agents. Our young girls are under pressure. Our daughters are under pressure. Our sons are under pressure. Satan is putting them under pressure. You must dress like a, a, a nomikambe. The Bible said, let your light so shine that men will see and glorify your father in heaven. If we see your breast, how does that glorify Jesus? If you don't want to come, stay home. Your breast is for your husband. Let him go into the bedroom and enjoy it. Don't show us. We don't want to see. Some of them are even falling to the ground and you are still showing us. Amen. 
Am I talking to you people, young people? Don't be under pressure. You don't need the pressure of this crazy world. You don't need to be like them. You don't need to take your pay because they're taking it. You don't need to have, every time you're phone, you're looking at boys and what, the, what nonsense is that? How many degrees do you have? How many certificates do you have? This is what will matter with time. How many of you can say Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second King, First and Second Chronicle, Extra Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalm, Prophet, Ecclesiastes, so, how many of you here can quote the scriptures? This is our kingdom. How many of you? How many of us can quote the scriptures? How many of us can talk like Jesus and say it is written? How many? When temptation comes, how many can say it is written? You don't even know where it's written. If I tell you the book of Enoch, you will open. I'm telling you. If I say open to the book of Enoch chapter 3 verse 4, people will be begin to open Bible. They will be looking for a book of Enoch. They are selling. Am I preaching here? Love me, hate me. I want you to see Jesus. There are, I want you to be when he says he's, he's coming for those that are expecting his coming. Uh, you have to preach the same. We people have turned church to to boardroom. People have turned church to consultation room. There is only one voice in this house, the Holy Spirit. I said the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. I said the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Don't go and show us your own Bible. The Lord said, "I should only wear white." Where is he written? We have brought demonic worship into the... He said, kick them out. He said, utterly destroy them. There are men that come to this church just to chase women. May you receive the wrath of God. Amen. Woo. Go to the scripture. Go where we are. Fast what? Where are we reading? Okay, the merchandise of gold and silver, precious stones and of pearls, fine linen, purple and silk. That's what they are selling. Scarlet and all thine wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manners of precious wood and of brass and of iron and of marble. That is what he's selling. Okay? And cinnamon and odors, and anointing oil, and frankincense and wine, and oil again. People have turned anointing oil to magic wine. The anointing oil you have is not Jesus. So. People worship anointing oil more than Jesus. People think anointing oil is salvation. It is not to anointing oil or what we are going, it's just point of contact. The, the main contact is Jesus Christ. Amen, somebody. Don't get anointing oil because you want car. Get anointing oil because you want Jesus. Let's read, let's read, let's read, let's read, let's read. I want to show you something. He's selling, if you go to verse 2, he will tell you of mystery Babylon. Okay? If you go to, chapter, if you go to chapter, verse 2, it will tell you mystery of Babylon. How mystery Babylon has destroyed the earth. And when, where we're reading, I'm just moving forward. When you get home, read it. He says, he has destroyed the world. He has held captive men and women. And he is selling. That's what we're reading. Now see what he's selling. He says, selling cinnamon wine and oil, flour, wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves. And the next one, what? What is this, Ali?
You can have more men in the church because you have bought their souls. You are offering them prophecy for their souls. It's not that prophecy is not good. You are offering them riches. If you shout hallelujah three times, your car is coming. Your house is coming. They are following after the car and they are selling their soul. The Babylonian system wants your soul. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world? And And lose his soul. Men and women, listen to me. I don't care whether you have lived with him for six years. You are living in adultery and fornication. I don't know whether he calls you, whether he has given you friendship ring. There's one they call friendship ring, eh? Yes, sir. I don't care whether he has given you friendship ring. And you are shouting, I receive. If Jesus comes, you are going to hell. Satan has, the world system permits people to live together. The body of Christ says, if you are feeling honey, marry. Hallelujah. Marriage or sex or lovemaking are two souls coming together. Two souls coming together in agreement. How can you come in agreement with a prostitute? All he's doing to you, you are a prostitute. He is prostituting you. If he has not married you, you are a prostitute. A prostitute that moved in. We must come to the place where we must look at Babylon and tell Babylon you are Babylon. We are of the kingdom of God. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody? We are looking for remnants that will lift up their head and say there are 7,000 others that have not bowed to Baal. We can't all bow to Baal. Listen to me. Then hear what he said. Go back to where we read in the book of Exodus. He says, thou shalt not bow down to their gods, nor serve them, nor do their works, but thou shalt utterly destroy them and quite break down their images. 25. And you shall serve the Lord your God. And he shall what? I <laughs> love the word. He shall bless their what? And he will do what? And I will take Corona from thee. <laughs> they will not, look, you see, people don't have revelation of this kingdom. This kingdom operates from another frequency. He said, don't bow to their system. We, we kept talking about uh, um, safety, safe sex, these people started dying of HIV. The system of the world. Men were sleeping with men's anus. People were sleeping with animals. Women will have pets. Small dog as pets. And the dogs will be licking them up. The Babylonian system, they were serving idols that what Satan wanted them to do. It's a, it's a system of the war. Am I talking to, am I preaching here? We are, we are calling for a revival. Am I, am I here? Am I, am I talking to ah. somebody? We are calling for a revival. Yes, sir. We are, we are calling ourselves out from them. He said, be you separate from them. He says, I, your God, am a consuming fire. Be you separate. He said, if you don't follow their God, he said, watch me. He said, I will bless your bread. He says, 
everything you find to do, if you don't follow their system, am I talking to somebody? There comes, listen to me, there comes a time in your life that when you serve God, when God blesses you, you understand? This is, look, when he, we are seeking after the world. We are seeking after the merchandise of the world. But he turns around and says, the gold is mine. The silver is mine. He says, I will bless your bread. I will, I will take sickness away from you. I will change your life like you will yes, never. Sir. I am the God of all flesh. Yes, sir. That thing you are looking for is in his hands. Yes, that thing you are running after he can give you double of what you are waiting for. Yes, Satan wants your soul. Satan wants your soul. There is a war going on. It is the war for souls. It is the war for souls. He wants your soul. God wants your soul. It is a war going on between the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of the light of his dear son. He says, read with me, go down again. Go yes, down. yes. 25. 25. He says, I will serve, if you, you shall serve, <laughs> you shall serve the Lord. We are not talking about come to church. No, we are not talking about come to church. You come to church, you go back home and you serve the devil. A young girl ran to me. He said, uh, there's a man. I say, is he saved? He said, he comes to church. I say, shut up. Coming to church is not Christianity. Yeah. Not all pastors are Christians. There's a difference between a Christian and a believer. Amen? If you want to marry, you marry a believer. Not a Christian. She came to me, spoke to me. She said, nah, nah. she disappeared. Every time they're pregnant, they disappear. Every time they come keep committing sin, we don't judge you, we teach you. If you bear, if you've sinned, come back. Confess your sins. God will forgive you. We're not preaching condemnation. We're preaching kingdom here. Amen. Amen. We're talking of the kingdom of light. Amen. So this woman came to me. She was crying. True story. Ran to my office with her bags. I said, What happened? He said, I married that guy. I said, which guy? He said, you know, I finally, you've not seen me for long. I'm sorry. They always say sorry. Well, who am I not to forgive? I say, I'm, I forgive you. He said, help me, I'm in trouble. I said, what's that? He said, this is my husband traveled. I've been married for three months, for, for four months. This is my husband traveled. I said, oh, okay. When is he coming back? He said, I don't know, sir. But this man lives in a six-bedroom mansion in Santon. He said, you have never seen a house like this, sir. This man's house is nice. Not this, our house is fine. But he told me not to open one door. That, that, is, that he is a Muslim. Are you married, though? We are not like them. We don't serve the same God. He said, then my husband just traveled. So after the marriage, we went on honeymoon. He took me to New York and Paris. Took me. And this girl likes uh, the Babylonian system. <laughs> We're not condemning because the gold belongs to God. You understand? So you can see we are bling bling in holiness. So he said, my husband traveled. You know, the worst thing you can do to a woman is to tell Eve. <laughs> you see who I call? I call their mother. Their mother. The more you tell a woman to quiet, she say, hey, I will not talk. Oh. I will not talk, oh, but don't push me. Oh. I will not talk. I, I didn't want to say what you did last week. And what you did, you know. <laughs> Amen, somebody. 
So he said, I just start on my own. I just said, I waited for him. He's been away for two months. I said, The pastor, every day I pass that door, I look the door. That's the one they say don't open. Uh, nah? When she came to me, she was sweating. I said, What happened? That's when she called me daddy. Hey, daddy. Hey, daddy. I said, What happened? He said, I opened the door. I saw a snake. The snake is big. The snake is from like this, like this in the house. And he said, ah, Daddy, I am finished, Daddy. I said, But you married. <laughs> what belongs to me belongs to you. What belongs to me is Babylon. How they get your money, their money. Forget all these rich men you are seeing driving what they are driving. If they tell you what they do. If they tell you what they do. Or where they go. Or whom they see. You will, you will, you will be shocked. Am I talking to somebody? We came to attack Babylon today. Is somebody with me? Sir. We came to utterly destroy their idol. We came to tell the Babylonian system you cannot touch this one. I told my beautiful wife here. I said, Mama, I said, listen, as your husband, I don't want you to take a phone one day and ask me, where are you? Whom are you talking to? Where are you going to? Who is that person? I said, you don't ever try it. You know why? I said, I am serving God. I am living right, not because of you. I am faithful, not because of you. You don't understand what I'm saying? You are not an issue. I am faithful because I belong to the kingdom of God. Sir. And the kingdom of God has requirements. Sir. <laughs> She, she, she's there, ask her. Hey, never, till now, she never asked me, where are you? Where are you? No, no, she, for what? For what? I did not kiss her. Before marriage, kiss. Now, then, then I will get up and follow a woman. If I want to kiss you, will you stop me? I hold your head and fire you the kiss. Go down, go down to the scripture, Exodus. He says, I will take away sickness from the midst of thee. Then verse 26. There shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in Johannesburg. 